and we're actually back with a brand new guest um his name's stone a new mascot to the listen buddy family come on we're happy he's here we're happy to have him we love him so much what do you got to say stone Yo, Metro, I don't trust you. I'm gonna shoot you. Respect, right, right, respect, respect. right, 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 right. Look, he got the two paws down. He ready to get into some NBA fucking analysts. Good old club soda. And welcome to Listen Buddy Podcast. Cheers. Cheers. Hello, 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 hello. How are ya? How are ya? You got that one? That's the one? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're back on another episode of Buddy Sports presented by Listen Buddy Podcast with your favorite host, E Money. And O Dog coming at you live and direct to dissect what we talk about basketball. Because we know ball. You don't. Hey! You can't even say shit about us not knowing ball, all right? What the fuck have we been saying for the past, like, months, bro? I don't know. For the whole whole last season. We've been saying it since the show started. We've been saying it before the show started. We've been saying it since we woke up this first year. We've been saying it since he ever, since when he was wearing the number two, came to our side of the town. I knew he was going to do something. I knew he was getting two of chips. I knew it was a match made in heaven, bro. Those two, man. Come on. People tried to hate last year, like, oh, no, they're not going to figure it out. They didn't make the playoffs. Like, bro, look at us now. They didn't make the playoffs. They're like, bro, look at, bro, best offensive duo in NBA history. Yeah, motherfucker, we were trying to tell you last year. Yeah, we may be Dallas residents, but we also realists, all right? We sports analysts, motherfucker. You're like, you see the jerseys. Come on. Come on. Come Luke on. Luke Kai. Luke Kai. Luke Kai. Luke Kai. Let's go. Luke Kai. I got hey. the number two, one plus one. This is pre-11. Come on. But who also wore number two? One plus one. Jason Kidd. Ooh. And you know who else won a fucking ring with the Mavs? The kidster, and who else got us? He, the storylines are crazy. Gotta get another ring. The the storylines are just crazy and crazy, man. You got one man. The last time he went to the finals was when he was playing as a team, but now he's a coach as a team. And he's a great coach too. People, same thing. People try. It makes sense that he's a great coach though. He was always a great player. Yeah, and he was a great point guard, control floor general, floor general. Had the dimer patch. Every time he passed it to you, you were probably gonna do better when you when you tried to. Y'all swinging it out like so. I know all about the dimer pads. Yeah, I used to use bro in 2K11. Like he was a three point shooter for sure. Like, okay, I was, I was more of the mid, you know, little middies. Yeah, yeah. But the passes, the passes was crazy. Oh, yeah, the passes for sure. And you know, he has a, it's a lot of things that resemble what our team is, what we do. We, we're Lob City now. We're the new Lob <laughs> we're City. We're fucking Lob City, bro. You know what I'm saying? We destroyed what they thought was going to be the two bigs to get them to the land of the finals. Nope. Sorry. They're like, oh, two bigs is the truth. Sorry. Yeah, nah, bro. Y'all didn't count for two motherfucking goats to be the truth. Like, you know what I'm saying? As the media has all been saying, it's looked like the Timberwolves, we're just going to get right into it. The Let's Western Conference it. Finals, the Mavs against the Timberwolves. It looked like the Timberwolves were playing just not to get swept. Yeah. That's what everyone's saying, and I agree. I watched the game because I watched Game Four, and every and in my heart, I knew we weren't going to win Game Four. Yeah, yeah, I did too. I knew we weren't going to win Game Four. Multiple reasons, like the NBA definitely didn't want to allow two sweeps in the. Conference That's a finals. fact. They so they took out Derek Lively and they didn't let him play. So yeah. then it fucked up our Delighted. whole lineup. And then Dwight Powell came on, and then Dwight Powell had to guard Rudy Gobert. And yeah. then what's that? That's a match made in heaven. That's cake. That's sweet. Exactly. They and got. We needed to give Lively time to get right for this next season or this next uh, series as well. But then he comes back game five and gets bodied again in the head. I was just like, Nas Reed, what are you doing? Come on, bro. Adam Silva. I, like I understand. You, you're coming to these players and you're offering them more money to take out more things so that entertainment for more basketball. Because I know the. I bet the NBA is losing a little bit of money because there's no <laughs> no games for a week. There's no games for a week. You They're know. Like, Bug, dude, We're dude. analysts, but we are conspiracists. We see the truth. We like, know the truth. We talk about the truth here. And the truth on, of the man. matter is Luca just might be the GOAT. Luca just might be the GOAT, bro. How the fuck you not get MVP? That's crazy, bro. That's got third crazy. place, too, is even crazier. But Luke. he's the only one who's got to the finals this year. But it's about, it's about what they do in the regular season. Fifth seed isn't bad. But, you know, I, I get it. I get it. You know, I get it. Wait, what What Bobo say to Wimby? I get it. They did right. riding, bro. I get it. <laughs> it's, you know, these things happen. These things happen, you know. Hey, man, the Mavs are looking amazing, though. That fucking final. Even the run to get to the finals, we knocked out the Clippers. We knocked out the Thunder. Now the Timberwolves, bro. And this is where I knew, like, the Timberwolves coming off a high, you know, beating the defending champs. They're, like, hype. They're, like, it was a oh, long series. They really thought they were the best team left, but they didn't account for my boy. All right, Luca motherfucking Doncic mm-hmm. to come out and just absolutely dog these motherfuckers. Bro. Like they came, it was like 
the take was like they're coming off of the seven game series adrenaline rush and they just beat the the peeps they just beat the champs but really no they came off the seven game series and they Gassed. were they tired bro they were just you know happy to get to the next round of course but they, they were still tired we had time to rest up we didn't go seven games yeah. we beat them boys in six we because we hey, called that too easy because we called that too we told you we was gonna beat the thunder in six i said we were gonna go Come to on. seven games because i'm an anthony edwards fan and i thought cat was gonna be a seven footer i thought he's hey, bro I couldn't know. even make a shot and was getting clamped up by gafford yeah. bro but then of course one game in the series we want to just make like five threes yeah. and then there was one game where nas Reed made seven threes bro, shout out nas Reed, like bro. i saw people getting them t- yatted Fucking 20 straight. 20 dollars to get a nas reed tattoo <laughs> that's fire right <laughs> i don't even know and i thought nas okay. reed was like 30 that man's like 24 damn yeah he looked old he, he looked he look old damn we hell. older than bro yeah fuck you go yeah, you, yeah you, you look at nas reed and you're just like there's no way i'm older than you yeah like, and, and kind of fucked up too at the beginning of the series you can't be talking to Kyrie like that like he didn't say anything disrespectful but like you're too young to be like nah i got bro it was like, but it wasn't like a you, you know, like, I feel like it was like, like, I saw it, I watched it and I was like, I pretty much was like, hmm, why do you even say his name? More so just he, why did you say his name? He Probably didn't. And the said the topic wasn't about him. People weren't talking about Kyrie versus like Ant, Kyrie's my like, matchup. I'm excited to see what I got. Like that isn't, that's not like a jab, but it's also just like a, why did you, why did like, you why? say? Like, why did you? And look at Kyrie, that first game. The first oh game, he God. was like, I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my belt on. Like they had, they my had belt a formula off. for them. They're like, Kyrie, you in the second half, Luca in the first half. Kyrie said, now nah, fuck that, bro. They I said my name and I got to put, we got to, we got to set the stage. We got to set the tone. We're going to come into the home. We're going to come into Minnesota. We're going to come on Minnesota. Every Straight Diddy. Pause. All Diddy. Come on. Every diddy way. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> 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 but essentially, though, it was that was such a good performance of Kyrie. Oh wow! If, okay, hold on. Let's actually oh, wow. get into it. Let's get into some Kyrie stats. Kyrie set the tone early, and they just straight popped them motherfuckers in the mouth. I was like, God damn, that's how we're doing it. It's honestly just so entertaining. It's just so much fun to watch, bro. Okay, we got look. We got hold on, hold on. New computer alert. You know, I gotta actually hold on. Go to new recording. There's a lot of fucking gnats. The rain, probably. Dude, it's been fucking monsooning in Dallas. That's how we did them Timberwolves, too. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> nah, the Mavs back in the finals. First time since 2011. That was really, like, my first. Like, I watched basketball before that, but, like, I never really, like, was locked in, you know? Like, 2011 was my first oh, year of being locked man. in. And I was like, damn, Mavs just, they just like that, bro. This is, like, how the Mavs are. Dallas cold as hell. Yeah, we never went back to the finals after that. And I was like, no Damn. cap. I thought Damn. I had to, I thought we were gonna lose that little series, but I'm not. No, I was hey. that was 2011. I was a baby. Yeah, I, didn't I was just shit. a little baby man. I didn't know him any better. And even back then, we had a crazy run to the finals, and now should we doing it again? That bro. was that's a crazy. That was a way. <laughs> that's a Dallas way. We all hey, we only know one way, and that's hard. Come on, pause. Dallas way. All right, the Mavericks stats in game one. You know, we had Kyrie we went 35 and four. <laughs> crazy. Crazy and Luca had 33 that game. They combined for 63 points, as you see. And then you got Daniel Gafford just doing his thing, you know, 10, 10 and 9. You know, what I'm saying? I think Lively came in there, you oh, know, yeah, what I'm saying? Boards. 9 and 11. He's lively seven. brings that like energy, bro. Live, like, yeah, he lively as fuck. He lively. He and lively. what's really crazy is that the Thunder drafted him. So, whoever is drafting at the Thunder. Y'all just like y'all, y'all got, got an oracle. Y'all have like a magical ball. I don't know. Like y'all just see young players and y'all just y'all just they see them work out. They must have somebody up there who's got the eye test down. He's like, hey man, there's something about him. He's like, you know, he don't got the stats, but he got one. the fucking heart. Because what they say, man, hard work gonna beat talent. Because talent gonna beat when talent. What is it? When, when t- talent fails to work hard. There you go. Hey. There you go. Uh-oh. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> you bring it back. Bring it. There it there is. There it is. That's crazy, though, man. I'm so happy for the Mavericks, bro. People were counting them out, and they realized, bro, they really got it like that. That series, it was pretty – I'm not going to say it was tough because, like, the first three games, we just fucking dogged them boys, but they never really got it together. Like, the mm. Timberwolves never came together and played like the Timberwolves. Yeah. But we I mean, were, like, I think you could, you could just, like – you could have just guessed what was going to happen. That's facts. The first game Still. set the stage – of what we saw and what was going to be. Oh, yeah. You know, you had Anthony Edwards come out there. He only had 19 points. 
but then he did everything else. He was like, I'm gonna get 11 boards and eight re and he had eight assists. So, yeah. you know, where he saw that he couldn't shoot, he made up for it. Mm -hmm. We can't be mad at him. He's still two and two. He's still in the Western Conference and Finals. He's like their main playmaker. And, you know, he's still doing shit. So, at the end of the day, as an analyst, you you, you can see that you know he might have had a an okay game by his standards. Yeah, but, but a he, pretty much a good game. Yeah, but he, he still played solid. But even at that post game for that game, uh, I think I remember like him saying like, "Oh no, nah, y'all gonna see me shoot a lot more next game for sure." Like, pull up his points. For and the game. niggas was gassed though. They like Oof. motherfuckers was gassed. Like people were like, and was tired, bro. They were in foul trouble the whole oh, yeah. series. The oh, Timberwolves yeah. was in foul trouble the whole series. Like we got Luke one and Kyrie game. got them dancing and falling into the fouls. What they say? Oh shit! It's like, you know what I'm saying? So we won. That's it was a close series too though. Like was, every game, yeah, every game. It and wasn't then game like no two, blowout. game two. We was not supposed to win that hoe. Nah, Nas Reed nah. was supposed to make that last little three. Nah. Oh, he yeah. had seven. He was seven for nine. He was about to be eight for nine. He had a clean look. He been I making know. those all day. I know he wants that one back, man. That one was tough. Tough, dude. There is like, we gonna get this motherfucker right. Let me pull that. Disgusting. Down. Anyways, those came came two. Everybody else didn't want to show up, but Luca was like, I'm going to continue to show he said, up. said, don't even worry about it, Chief. When when people can't show up, when people aren't ready, that's okay. That's when I step up, and I'm hurt. I'm still – I'm at 80%. I got a fucked up knee. I got a bum knee right now. You see every time – every, every game, game he's bleeding. Shit just starts bleeding. Like, he walks out there, it's bleeding. Over. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like He's putting his body on the line. Body on the line, bro. Don't care. They asked him a question that when he won. They were like, so when you were younger watching the NBA Finals, how did it feel? And he was like, I didn't watch it because it was 4 a.m. and I had school the next day. Man, <laughs> these Europeans are pissed off, dude. They're, they're coming said, to just – Said, They're coming up? to and the I'm NBA still. and just being pissed off. They're like, nah, man, y'all been too – it's been too sweet. Because There's another saying, hard times make strong men. Strong – hard times make strong men. Strong men make good times. Good times make soft men. Oh. Right. They said we wasn't even watching them hoes. And then you know what the soft men do? Make the hard times. Oh. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. So These foreigners, man. So right now, like, now nah, we gonna run your you know, league, bro. Give I think I think we're at that part where Anthony Edwards is coming in. And he's saying like, "Yo, we're it's back to the hard times mm -hmm. in the in America." Because man, we got you got SGA, you got Jokic, and you got Luca, the three people, and he had and you got Embiid. They're, none of them are from America. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> it's like, damn, where'd all our stars? None go of here? them are from America. Bro, pretty soon everyone. You know, nope. like from overseas, like they're finding these demigod talents. Like, oh, just get bro right there, fucking seven no six, fucking Wembenyama. Yeah, it's, it's like it's over. They're over there breeding people. Straight it's, up, dude. You know, What's going fine. on out there, man? They the, get pissed. Let's actually watch the infamous shot, the the infamous Luca shot on the defensive player of the year. Oh man, that game four shot or game five shot that sealed the deal. And it was like game four, they got us. You know, they had our number or whatever. They're playing well, but you know, we need a little, we need a little time to get lively back in it. But then, this is how a motherfucker pull up. All right, this dude Luca, game five. Everyone's talking. Bro comes out, twelve points in the first three minutes of the game. Bro, they didn't even know what to do. This man's a per fucking per fucking professional. Professional, dude. That's but crazy. The, but the thing is though, anybody who's been watching Luca for all these years, we all knew it was gonna go to him. Oh yeah. We didn't know, like... And you know what, bro's exactly what he's going to do. And there's yeah. just no way to stop it. Like, I was like, there's like a 75% chance he's going to go for the step back three. But, you know, off chance he goes for the shoulder lean and then takes and a, then little, a little floater or, whatever. Know, or something like that. But or the either way, I, I knew it was going to go to him. And everybody knew it was going to go to him. And then I saw And nobody Gobert came to help him. On the island. I and said, then you got Jaden McDaniels. He's like shaking his head. He's like, fuck. He said, fuck, he saw a Gobert out there. He, Luca did his first Because, bro, move. either way, it was like, I'm going to pass it to D-Live. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then Nas Reed is over there trying to catch the zone, but we can't leave Kyrie. Oh, you know, we got to leave Anthony over there. And I guess, D where the fuck is yeah, PJ? the fifth man? Am I blind? I'm so blind. There's probably getting back. Oh, oh, he was right there. He was. Ugh. God. Yeah, right here, real time. Ugh. Look at the release. He knew it was in. It's ridiculous. Quick flick release. Looks at him. Just says, you're a fucking bitch. I don't know what he said. No, no, no. He said, he said, motherfucker, you can't guard me. Motherfucker. Can't you can't guard fucking me. guard me. Oh, yeah. This is game two. Oh, my God, man. You can't fucking guard me. God damn. Yeah, no, that's a fun That's a fun shot. It's just amazing. Like, we get to just, you know, it's so awesome. Damn, all, all the way on the court, bro. It's so much fun, dude. It's so much fun to wow. see this. to have Luca 
as your CDs player, bro. What? I don't even understand. Y'all don't this, get it. This yeah, man, man is a professional closer. It's like I have full faith in him like he gonna show up in the fourth and it's like that's like a problem for a lot of the stars in the league he's like, always gonna show up in the fourth always here and then and they he, get Kyrie he, damn near the best finisher other gets, than Luka bro and it's like that's just a match made in heaven bro like now y'all see it Come bro, on. he gets so mad too Luka, he gets so mad that's the thing I was like why would you start and why would you start chirping this team like even if you didn't say anything disrespectful you you were giving them something he takes and these it. motherfuckers don't play they're gonna get riled up they're gonna go and now look, look what you did. Luca talking shit to everybody, hitting a step back, looking at you in your face like you fucking suck. I'm like, goddamn, bro. They saying like he plays better on the road. Honestly, I believe it. And, I believe and that's it. actually hilarious if he plays better on the road because like, gang, you you telling me you like when people are calling you bad? Like we're <laughs> over scary. here in Dallas, and we wanted you, we wanted to praise you, we wanted to be so happy for the next sweep. You know, like, should we call bro ass? Like at this point, like damn. <laughs> Should we just be like some Celtics plants at at the Bro, Mavericks literally, and then literally. just make him angry, For just real. to make him better? Hopefully, oh, we might get our ass beat by the Dallas fan base. Yeah, I don't know. Them boys getting lively down there. I'm not too I'm not too afraid of them, but they're getting that's okay. That's a good hey. That's a good joke. They're getting lively out there. It was a little subtle joke. Yeah, I caught you. I heard you. They're getting lively. <laughs> I see what's happening. Well, what else we got on the on the agenda? Man, that was just a great series. Luca talking shit to everybody. Like, that game five, bro, I skipped to it early. But, wow, that game was – honestly, that's where the momentum started to shift a little bit, and that's where the great step up. They're like, mm. we need you to lock in in you this game. And then, boys, he locked in. That's the sign of a great player. Like, they lost the game before. Minnesota wasn't playing that bad, but they were kind of playing bad from the beginning of game five. But, like – Luca came and just showed up, bro. And that's what you need out of your star player, bro, to just step up, talking shit to everybody. Saw Snoop Dogg on the <laughs> court side wearing the bust down glasses. He was like screaming at bro. I'm like, damn. This Who's crying now, motherfucker? Straight up. He's talking shit to the fans, man. Those Gafford the and Lively. The word, he was just talking crazy, though. He was like, he called, he'll call a grown man a pussy. <laughs> yeah. Like, he'll look at Rudy Gobert and just call him a whole ass vagina. Bro, that's actually crazy. It's just like, it's I, don't, actually crazy. I don't know. European men, y'all moving a little different. Y'all moving a little bit unsafe for me. They don't but, give uh, a shit, bro. I don't know what they drinking out there, hey, but. Hey, it's hey, all good, though. The first quarter, that boy Luca had 20 points, and the uh, Minnesota Bulls had 19. He said, fuck it, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. And then the next quarter, I think he, I think by the half, maybe he had like 25. Dude, yeah. Second quarter, Kyrie went five for five. And then at this point, the coach is just like in shambles. He's like, we're fucking cooked. Yeah, I don't coming know. back from this, bro. That boy Finchy, that boy Finchy, he felt the pain in his, yeah, bro. In his, his heart, in his yeah. knee. Everywhere, his shambles. His body, and he's just, he can't stand up on the side of the line. He's just sitting there, just <laughs> sad. He's just mad. Ain't not much you could do, man, when you got Carl Anthony Towns on your team, bro. Straight. You thought the media was going to let Carl Anthony Towns get a ring, dude? Nobody after all likes that, him, bro. he's going to get a ring after it's all It's really that. tragic to be that good of a player, to have your teammates have your back. But you know that one stat you didn't work on in your 2K journey? It was the fan grading. Oof. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't, <laughs> you didn't get them pop plus 500 fans up, bro. You know? you need a, Come on, it got you. Didn't to get you. you. You had to work on the player grade. Sometimes you got to talk shit during the media, but in like a better way. Yeah. You got. I don't know. Uh, no one's just, scared of y'all either. Like y'all, they that, tried to create the twin towers, yeah. not the. They don't have like a New dog, York, the you know? San Antonio ones. Talking about Tim Duncan and what's his name, Duncan David, Robinson. Yeah, David. David Robinson. Not but, Dun- oh, it's Dunk. <laughs> Dunk in the white man. That's the Heat, bro. <laughs> That's the Heat player. And then, uh, <laughs> but what was it though? Like, they had no dog, bro. They didn't have someone who's in a muscle like. They do, though. But he's just not big enough to be, Ooh. like, in the paint, though. Anthony's a dog. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, Anthony, Anthony's, Anthony's. For sure, for sure. Definitely, like, dog level. But, like, Luca, that's a fucking dog. Like, he going to chirp up your whole fucking squad while hitting And it seems like Luca might be able to even guard, like, every position. Bro, Luca's big. Like, 6'9". Six, 6'9". Nine. Six, nine, 200 plus. 200, maybe 250, something like that, bro. That man, big body. It was, there was back. you saw the one thing they kept it was all over my TO when they like made the switch to on him to Rudy and then he fucking knocks the ball out of Rudy's hand. He looks oh, at the yeah. bench and he's like, What y'all doing? Oh yeah. 
He's like, right. And then the one time where they tried to, it was I think the game game two where they tried to lob it up to Rudy, and then he blocks the. Oh my! He God, blocks dude. the lob. What the hell are you doing, man? Saying, bro, don't play defense, right? Nah, what was that? He's doing everything he Come can. On. He's Bro's doing everything he floor, can. I'm excited, though. How do you think the Celtics and Mavs matchup will be? I feel like it's going to be a good series. Just because it's going to rely, I think, a lot on the bigs, Gafford and Lively. Mm. Just because the Celtics, they play real fast. They run a lot of pick and roll. They get into the, the cup a lot. They got Jalen Brown loves to slash, loves to Slasher. get to the rim. Tatum always driving, trying to drive contact. So I think, like, off the pick and roll and the switches, we're going to need Lively and Gafford to go crazy, which is great because they've been going crazy. But at the end of the day, Luka, Kyrie, they're going to do their thing. But we're going to see how they match up with the Celtics because the Celtics got a lot of bodies. and They got a lot of solid defenders. Like, not, I'm not saying there's anyone who can completely clamp up one of them. But they got a lot of fresh bodies to keep on Luka, keep on Kyrie, keep them rotating, switch everything. So it's going to be a great series. And on top of that, both star players, bro, Tatum and Luka fighting for their first ring. They're supposed to be the future of the NBA, bro. This is exciting as hell. Like, we're already getting it. This, like, preview. And I think this is, like, a preview for, like, the next 10 years of the NBA of, like, these two are going to be here. Oh, you think we're about to have, like, a Warriors and Celtics? Low-key. Like, you know, Warriors and Cavs? Thing? Maybe not to that extent, but they're definitely going to both be making deep playoff runs for the next 10, 15 years, I think. So The Celtics or the Mavs? Both of them. Like mm. Tatum and Doncic specifically. I think they're here to stay. They're going to be locked in. So we're going to mm. see. I'm super excited for this. But what do you think? How do you think this matchup is going to go? Uh, I think the matchup is going to be. <laughs> I don't know why I started giggling on that question. <laughs> the funniest shit because what's happening right now bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro we're so locked it's actually impressive how dialed we are nah, it's like it's a good bro you see is it me it's my hair fun these headphones are trash okay these headphones are booty cheeks no nah, that's just funny oh, as okay. fuck though it's a nice test it's a nice test on how far how how, how, how locked did you, you, you go <laughs> how how well can you analyze all right <laughs> but uh nah i think it's gonna be in a minute i think I th- i'm happy I'm excited, man, because, like, last year's uh, finals, um, it was fun to watch as a basketball fan because I loved uh, – what was it? Nuggets I thought heat. the Celtics were going to do what the first – I thought they were going to be the first team in history to come back from a 3-0 lead, uh, deficit, deficit, and then they fucking came back to the Garden to lose to the Heat. And that's when I knew the Celtics were not my team anymore yeah. because that shit just hurt my fucking feelings. And the, the Celtics started being my team when Kyrie got there. I'm one of oh, yeah. those fans. Uh, I follow the player. Hello. Yeah. I follow the player, okay? Mm. KD, that's one of my favorite players. I was a good <laughs> Suns fan. But when they had to play the fan, when they got to play the Mavs, I'm not a KD fan. I'm a Mavs okay. fan because that's my city. Oh, okay. But then. He said, KD, where are we going but next? But then what happened? Something that only a few people can dream of. Their favorite player came to their city, bro. bro exactly. <laughs> it's just that's crazy. Lit. So, okay. So I love Kyrie, so bro. He's doing say, the pop-ups in the city. That's what Shout I'm saying, Kyrie, bro. bro. Like, I've just been great. Like, I'm excited to see this matchup mostly because of the storylines. I feel like this is one of those things that, you know, that the uh, – the witch, the sorcerer that is Adam Silva has been cooking up in the back. I swear to God, he's been cooking this up. He's like, we're gonna make Kyrie horrible in the media. Okay. We're gonna make him. We're gonna make yeah. him not want to get. Well, he, we knew he wasn't gonna get the vaccine, so we're gonna take him to the East Coast. <laughs> he knew he we're gonna take him to the liberal states. I'm not saying don't get the vaccine, but I'm saying in Texas they don't give a shit. Okay, like, hey, they don't give a shit what you do out here as long as you got a gun on your hip. And yeah. you got a beer to sip. That's pretty much <laughs> all they need. <laughs> okay? Come on. Man. That's Texas for you, all right? <laughs> okay? So, it's like, you know, I'm excited for this matchup, and I'm hoping that it's like a situation where Kyrie's just pissed off. But, like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. in all these interviews, he's just been like, nah, man, seven years, man. It's just hard work. Good yeah. shit, man. I'm just happy to be back. Yeah, I will say the narrative on Kyrie has definitely like changed, like at, because of the at, bro. It's crazy. The media, yeah, the media, the media, the media definitely will changed. control the fuck out of it. They're so two faced, but yeah. they're just trying to do what gets clicks. So is it the but media that's or crazy, is it though. is it the ones clicking? I don't know, man. It is definitely the media, bro. I don't cap these two faced ass motherfuckers. I'm capping, bro. I mean, they be making up these fucking storylines. Yeah, and man. Because I watched bro. this thing. 
I watched this thing. Well, there was, I mean, it was like a clip from his interview where he goes to like that uh, podcast where all the athletes always go. I forget the names. It's those two. Uh, the barbershop one? With no, no. Ron? Athlete. I am athlete. Oh, I am athlete with a uh, uh, wide receiver. Yeah, wide receiver. Um, Brandon Marshall, I think. Yeah. So he get, he's on there and he's talking about like, they were like, nah, bro. And then he, he pretty much just pretty much says like, yeah, the media, I fucked everything up. And between like the relationship I have with LeBron for a second mm. and like the relationship I have with just all media in general now, because when I was in the, when he was in the Cavaliers situation, he goes to the big heads, goes to the office. He asks them, he's like, hey, man, what's the dealio? What's the plan for the future? They tell him the plan. And as a man, he just says, nah, you know what? That's not for me. And then doesn't have the conversation goes to or like with LeBron yet goes to like China, like I guess the next day or so or like. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know how it works. You know, I'm not a superstar. I don't got to go on Chinese press fronts for shoes because I'm signed to Nike. You know, he also isn't signed to Nike anymore. Hey, it's just answer. crazy. That's another thing. The media was trying to paint him bad, bro. So it's just like, anyways, throughout that, he goes to China. And then I guess that's when it gets leaked that he wants that he's requested to trade. And then he hasn't even spoke to LeBron. And now everybody's saying that he's like, fuck LeBron. He's not trying to be LeBron. He doesn't want to live in Braun's shadow. That's been that was like the whole thing. And then. I was actually excited for him when he got to the Celtics. I thought it was going to be too. a good situation. Because, honestly, when I played with them on 2K, and I had Kyrie, JB, oh. and Jason Tatum, and then I think at the time they had Al Horford still, too. Oh, yeah. Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. Oof. That and was, there was a another, squad. That was, was a another fucking big squad. Guy, I think. But, yeah, no. But they I, did IT dirty Isaiah Thomas by yeah, saying that's man, the Cavs. That's, that's the Celtics, though. That's a, it's, a, it's a business. That's damn. the Celtics, though. They, trying to, they said that we want that W. They do for a win, for sure. And see, that's why, see, and that's what I'm just like. Celtics fans need to just calm down. They're like, man, we got rid of IT because we wanted you, Kyrie. We we were prepared for you, and you said you were going to stay. Now, why did he leave? I don't know. I really don't understand why he left. But I'm going to say it's not because of how bad they're making it be. They're like, he comes into every NBA locker room, and he makes it horrible. He, he throws off the chemistry. He doesn't know how to be a team player. Yeah. Just, just I cap. wouldn't say the extent of that, but it's Kyrie definitely cap. had like an evolution in his game, like with Braun. Mm. Like I, he wasn't like he definitely wanted to be like a high role on his team. Mm-hmm. And he went to the Celtics looking for that. I feel like they didn't exactly give him that. I feel like Kyrie today on that Celtics team would be completely different. Like I feel like they would. Man, he would still, but then it would, it would have to be Kyrie's team. Yeah, like it would, could, he I couldn't go so. over there and still like hope Jason Tatum and JB are gonna be. And I feel like enough. they were just super young at the time. He won't, if they were like evolved as they are now, like it would. Probably yeah, work I don't a know why better. we didn't get to have the time put into it, but there's yeah. obviously a reason. Yeah, but maybe he left because he thought he thought the net situation was gonna be cool. He was Facts. like, with, I'm I'm over K- here chilling with KD. And we, he fucks with KD. We so. yapping it up. You and know? then he's like, he was getting all this hate from Boston and shit. And he was like, all right, fuck y'all. Like, I'm going to just go over here. And you could see in Boston, like, they're not going to switch up on Jalen Brown and Tatum, even yeah, for no, Kyrie. They're diehard. So they they're they like, love JT and JB over they there. They didn't want to break those up. So Kyrie probably recognized that. I was like, fuck it, I'm over here with the boys, you know. The boys. Harden, Harden pull up. And then you all know how that go. Goddamn New York regulations. <laughs> the worst big shit. three ever. Ever, bro. These the motherfuckers worst. just... Like the Nets, they got, they got Blake Griffin at one point. There's one. Remember well, that Marcus one Aldridge. play? Remember that one play? Oh yeah, play? the lob or whatever. They had or, like four. It was the, like the behind were, the bit. It was like somebody got the steal, and they passed it to Kyrie, and then Kyrie passed it to KD, or it was like vice oh, versa, and then the, somebody passed it to Blake Griffin. Like Blake Griffin, back. Oh, they're like, oh god, it's prime Blake Griffin. He's back. Like, okay, guys. I was like, damn. This okay, team that is, that was like the glimpse of what they could have been. Yeah. That's all we got. Yeah, that <laughs> they a, never played. New York COVID restrictions. Kai's like, fuck no, I'm not getting the vaccine. Which he was right. Like, hey, can we all just give him his hey, problem? Like, ain't nobody talking hey, about getting no vaccine now. Like, hey, like bro was right. How are you fucking? And then how are other hey, teams allowed to come in? Hey, with no vaccine. Hey, but the player who lives there and playing for y'all has to have a vaccine. Shit is not adding up, Chief. But shit is not adding up. So shit just went. Remember that? There's that one clip, and they're like, Kyrie, why you not hoop like this for my when you was in Boston? He was like, Ask Ask the mayor. Ask the mayor. Awesome shit. Or he doesn't. (laughs) That's why I'm like, he doesn't say mayor. He says the name of the The mayor mayor. Adams. So you like some shit. He doesn't even say mayor. He's just like Nick Nick something like or like Adam something like. And then you're like, you Google up the name, and you're like, Mayor New York. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I see. So you've just been beefing with New York. 
And then it's just crazy. It's been hey, a nice man. seven years journey back to the finals, though. And I feel like Boston fans, they're ruthless, bro. They're going to be honest. They're ass. horrible. And I'm just saying, you they're don't the you saw what bro did ever, dude. to fucking Anthony Edwards for just saying, like, hey, I got Kyrie. Now imagine motherfuckers who were like dogging him when Kyrie was like throwing the middle finger on his head, like, yeah. hey, like, like hitting the three even... and going like that. I'm like, nah, he better cook y'all motherfuckers. Stomp on Lucky's head. Bro, like, that's crazy. That it was, was really. <laughs> it was written. <laughs> that was lit. When he stomped on it. That's what the logo in the back. Oh yeah, it's the Mavs. Oh yeah, it was written. Come on, <laughs> that was that was a fucking future. Put it in the Simpsons. <laughs> Cannot but wait. That's all the storylines, bro. Look, we got Kyrie yeah. returned to fucking mm. um, Boston. We, what else? We got KP. KP. If he gets healthy, he want, he, he's he healthy. Be, he's um, healthy. He's been healthy. He's been healthy since the second game of the Pacers. And they're like, Nah, Chief. We'll just, rest you. We don't need you. Oh. We got Tyrese Halliburton hurt. I saw this stat. We can pop it up right here today. I screenshotted it. But it was basically Jason Tatum's 2022 run. He was basically averaging less and less points every round. But it's the opposite this year. Nope. He's averaging more points every round. And nope. I, I can kind of tell, like, bro's kind of, like, taking a back seat. Like, he's not being as aggressive. Pacers series kind of, like, proven me wrong there. He started doing a, a lot better. Like, the series before that against the Knicks, I was like, bro, what the fuck going on? Man, I th- I just think they're playing like chill teams. Like I mean, like like Micah had a good take. Mm-hmm. Like he's like, what teams have they played that Need. Jason needs to like go yeah. crazy? That's facts. That's and facts. that's when I rebuttal and say yeah. he's not ready. Exactly. He's not battle tested. He and hasn't been. Uh, uh, yeah. Like so we're gonna see if it was second. really. Like, come on, bro. He hasn't been battle tested, and now they're gonna get tested and succeed. Or they were like maybe preserving him, or I don't I don't know if that's how it works though, because you got to mm. be in in a rhythm too. You don't want to mm. get into a slump in the finals, but we're gonna see. But back to the storylines, we got Missoula, the youngest coach to reach the NBA Finals. Crazy. Uh, after Bill Russell in 1969, but he has so many records. Them hoes don't even count. Bill Russell <laughs> just <laughs> like doing pre-1960 everything. He was just doing records, everything, like, game. bro. Just running the entire league it's back me. then, like. Bro, it's coach, league. player, head. I do <laughs> this. Re- like, damn. Mavs would be the second fifth seed fifth seed to win the finals. If we win the game. 1995 Rockets. When we win the finals. Which, when MJ, I think. Prayed in Dallas. Retired, yeah. 1995. But we still believe, you know, we still are down to go to the Boston parade. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Boston parade would be lit. I'll still go be there, shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not uh, gonna wear my jersey because I like my safety. Yeah. You know what I'm I'll saying? Borrow, I'll borrow a little. Like I won't borrow. No, nah, my cousin got one, but I ain't going to get no Tatum or Brown. I'm going to get a Marcus Smart low key. I'm going to get a. I'm going to get Derek White. Oh, <laughs> I respect Marcus that Smart's one. not even on the team. I anymore. know, but it's like, oh, they're going to be like, hey, <laughs> hey, hell yeah, dude, hell yeah, we should have kept him. We should have kept him. I'm gonna right, maybe fuck. I'll get a Horford. <laughs> Horford. Get Al Horford. Oh, jersey. that jersey. Bro, Al Horford is not going anywhere. Dude, for real, bro. Like, I'm like, he play, he's playing better as he gets older. It's for real, That's dude. I, I saw a stat like he hit oldest player to hit seven threes in the playoffs. Bro, hey, 37. Come like, on, Bron's like bet. I'll come back next bet. year. Yeah, there's a lot of he stats is, where they LeBron's go just real. there. <laughs> they go two more for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Bron about to do. <laughs> this is crazy. I do. <laughs> wow. looks. My favorite saying. My favorite saying. Yeah. Say so what else? There's a. There's a. Isn't there like a. There's a. J, the Jason Kidd storyline. You know. Oh yeah, the Jason Kidd. And we already bro. said it, Come but on. it's like it's just crazy. Like he's he, back. He's back. This. This is not really like a crazy storyline, but this is the first finals matchups where both star players hmm. lead their teams in points, rebounds, and assists, which hmm. in the playoffs. So it's like you think about that. That means Tatum and. Doncic are basically like running their teams. It's oh, the first stupid. time where they're like cooking. They're doing everything. So it's going to be a good matchup. We're going to see. I think they're about to go crazy. But it's going to be fun to see for sure. It's gonna I want to see like matchup. both of them are pretty good at offense and both are pretty good at defense. So I don't, it's going to be all the X yeah, factors. I'm, I'm excited to see uh, like what are the switches they going to do. Like oh, yeah. to finish. Let's to finish. Let's see how the how what are your prediction on the first game? What are the defensive matchups that you think are going to be like i think luca they got to put like i don't even know bro i think Kyrie is going to get guarded by Derek white and then drew and company is going to be on luca Mm. that's how i think so it's going to be like a rotation probably like switching a lot or like maybe throwing doubles at luca because you cannot let luca get going but i think it's also all about the x factors bro like 
the bigs, Lively, Gafford, they got to come through. But the real X factors for this series, I think it's PJ Bro and DJJ. Mm-hmm. Derrick Jones Jr. and PJ Washington, bro. If these motherfuckers are hitting their threes in the corner and they're scoring like they've been doing, chief. It's PJ, over. PJ, you PJ, did, bro. I'm not going to cap PJ. The three point shooting in the Timberwolves series was not that great. Yeah. It was not good at all. Yeah. We need you to step the fuck back up. Oh, we, yeah. You were doing everything we needed you to do for the Thunder. For the Thunder. Go and on. it was it was awesome. Like, it. it it got the job done. It's what we needed, and I appreciated it a lot. We, I, we want you to pull back up. Please show up. <laughs> Please show up to game one. Uh, yeah. The defensive matchups that I predict, I'm definitely thinking like Drew and JB are going to keep, you know, try to switch back and oh, forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then definitely probably keep Derek White or Drew or JB. I don't know. I think there's going to be a lot of switches on the front court, bro. Because, mm-hmm. like, yeah, or the back court, excuse me, the back court. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of switches on the back court because, brother, brother, I don't, I just How don't, do you, you I just to. don't see you, like, try, like, Derek White, I just don't see you being able to just continuously ISO defend my boy Kyrie. Yeah. I don't see it. And then yeah. JB by yourself, I don't see nah, it. Nah. I see switches, I see double teams, oh, and then yeah. I see, I see Luca getting a double team and then always seeing it. Boom, pass out PJ. The Celtics corner. are good at that too, like the switching and like having exactly. guards fly everywhere. But so that's the thing. We'll, we'll be seeing a lot of switches for sure. Yeah. And then I think uh, PJ Washington is going to be a great. Oh, I think yeah. it's going to be a great series for him. Like wake up. Oh, yeah. Call for Jason Tatum. I mean, like, oh damn, these niggas. Okay, hold on. Oh shit. Bro. I haven't actually been guarded all playoffs. Literally. Literally. Like, I really haven't had to deal with nobody like. Who's really big enough? That's why I want to see, bro. Tatum, you always like, you better text Kobe, do whatever you need to do, bro. Like, you better show the fuck up. Because if not, dude, they're going to be on your ass. They're going to be sure. on your ass, gang. But last question, though, for about Luca. You know, the one thing they always hold against, bro, like, we think, I'm not even going to say that first, but one thing they always hold against, bro, is that he doesn't have a chip. So do you think that winning a title this year would make Luca the best player in the league? Um, like in every but in the majority of people's eyes, because right now they don't think so exactly. But um, I think he got everything to be. But like Chip Luca with a title coming into next year, being defending champions, that's gonna be tough. But um, he's definitely. If I had to answer that, I think he would be in the conversation a lot more for sure. Because right now they kind of dogging bros and name like third and I will MVP. say like. There's a chance this nigga might get a second 2K cover if he oh, gets yeah. a ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, like, has Jason Tatum had a 2K cover? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, maybe. I think so. I think so. He has. When he went to the finals, maybe. Maybe. Maybe he has. Maybe I'm tweaking. I think I'm tweaking. But uh, has Kyrie had a ha- – Kyrie has had a 2K cover, hasn't he? Let me see this real quick. <laughs> Google this. 2K cover. This goes along with my answer. I need to know, though. Kyrie 2K. Oh, oh yeah, yeah the it. Celtics I one. It. I remember that's that. That's why I was shit. like, yeah, no, 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 yeah, that's what I'm saying. I played with this team. I got to the finals every fucking year. I was, I was fucking niggas up with this team, bro. It was cover crazy. Athlete. Yeah, I know. That was a good ass. That's like that was that's a good version of Kyrie. I don't give oh, yeah. a fuck. I that's, love Demon like bro, villain. That, that villain Kyrie, Kyrie is, is cold. Villain Kyrie is lit. Villain Kyrie is Man, cold. I like, There's so many know, variants. Tribe, though, tribe, tribe. Hella, hella, hella. <laughs> so, um, do I think he's going to be the best player in the league? I do think he's. I do think he is going to be the best player in the league. I if, think once he adds that to his resume, you know what I'm saying? I think there's, like I mean, there's LeBron. Yeah. Like of course that's LeBron though. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, not LeBron. even a question. LeBron's still doing that at a high yeah, clip. He might not. He, he might even come back next year and be like pissed off. I don't know. I don't know. It's exciting to see I when he might finish because we don't know when yeah, he's exactly. gonna finish. And we still point, got the Olympics like, to see him. Bro. He might like he he was he's gonna go crazy. Stay tuned for the Olympics, bro. There's been resting up, dude, bro. since fucking first round. Nah. I've been going to the beach. Bron Steph, and KD. Come on. They and said beats said, they fuck said his Anthony own Edwards. Country? Give number 10 back to Kyrie. He said, you better give that shit, bro, after what I did to you in playoffs. It's crazy, though, that they were, they're wearing the same exact number, and then that's what happened. Damn. Damn. But Kyrie was like, that. all right, that's, all, that's all <laughs> another episode. But, but one, one thing about agree, uh, yes. that matchup, though, um, I think if Tatum loses this, it's going to be really bad for his career. Because, one, he already flopped. But it's like. He already, he already flopped in 2022, didn't play well against the Warriors. They lost. A lot of people blame that on Tatum because he didn't play well. So. 
if they lose the Celtics lose this series. Was Draymond Green guarding him? I don't even had to be though. I don't even remember, bro. But that was like Steph was cooking still that, though that that finals matchup. But it's like if they lose this this series, not gonna be good for Tatum's legacy. But if Tate they lose and Tatum plays like super well, does everything he can, it's like okay, that's a buy, sure. But if they lose and he played like shit. Everyone's going to blame it on Tatum. Mm. It's like, bro, they've been to the Eastern Conference Finals like six times, been to the Finals twice. They can't get it done. They might just blow up the JBJT. I don't know. But on the other side, this Luka's first time. This mm. this is the first time this team's been in the playoffs with Luka and Kyrie. Like, it's not going to be as detrimental. And this is just the second year that Kyrie's been in Dallas. Literally, so it's like, first full year. So it's like. Yeah, so really it's like it, they they don't we're really, looking good. Yeah. So even if we lose, which we're not. We got Lively, who's a great prospect for the future. So Tyson Chandler coaching him. So I, that's a good take. You Tatum know, playing if, for his legacy right now, low key. Like it's damn. gonna be dent like it's not gonna be gone, obviously. He's still gonna be Tatum. That's what I'll say. Do you think in the past audience and media was like lenient on the whole age thing, maybe? Or yeah. maybe I don't know, because it's crazy that Luke is 25. Like. Tatum's like 26. So it's like, I mean, Tatum's damn. 19. Tatum 19. For real. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying. But so it's like, it's but just, yeah, dude, I feel like it's crazy. It's just like young talent been taken over. Like back in the league, it used to be like first eight years of your career, you ain't winning shit. All right. Then you're going to be expected. That's to what I'm to saying. Playoff. That's what I'm saying. That's what, exactly what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. So they were like, okay with it. Yeah. So it's like, and that's I, what they say. LeBron didn't win his first one until 27. Yeah. That's my crazy. boy, my boy, Jason has been to that bitch like three times That's already, crazy. two times. And maybe? At that point, Braun only went once. This is crazy. I guess like, we got to hey, We kind of got to give credit where credit is due. Tatum been to the conference finals like six times, bro. He's only twenty fucking six. Like, yeah, what? It's actually crazy. So That's actually insane, man. And it's like, is getting, that because the East is easy? Maybe. I feel like people just overlook, like overtake the like prisoners take the of the fun- moment. Yeah, exactly. And they take that finals loss as, like, such a bad thing. It's like, bro, you still got to the finals. You went through three series that you won. Like, mm-hmm. people be looking at the finals loss and be like, oh, no, nah, he sucks. But it's like, and you're going to say, bro, over here is good. And he got bounced in the first round, like, three times. So it's like, Tatum, yeah, he hasn't showed up. But it's like, the executives, man, they they getting, mm. they getting, they getting impatient. Them boys impatient. Yeah, I don't – it's a, it's interesting. It's interesting. I, I will say I, – I will say – no matter the outcome, it's probably good for the Mavs' future and Mavs' franchise and the players for Kyrie and Luka and DJ, DWJ, PJ, Derek Lively, what Gafford. A squad. Like, literally, what a squad. I think everybody who's on that team right now is, like, just also playing maybe a little bit harder. Mm-hmm. Like, Dante Exum wasn't in the league last year. Oh, yeah. Fucking, uh, you got, got DWJ. He said, I took less money for, for, a, for a chance, and I knew I was that guy. Now they now they see that I'm that guy, Yeah. I'm, and they're rewarding me. So I'm gonna continue Which to I'm reward so happy them for bro, like yeah. DJJ. No I always loved him as a player. They're Gafford, like, they're like, "Hey, go dunk." I'm like, "What the fuck, bro?" It's actually nice. Like, like that's another storyline. Gafford and KP played together. Oh yeah, in the in Washington, yeah. in the Wizards, <laughs> and then they got, and now they got to play against each other. The funniest video is fucking uh, that PJ dude? Washington oh. and Gafford after in the locker room after they won the conference finals, and then someone in the chat's like, "Y'all literally went from." Shit Bruh. to up like they Bruh. got traded. They were like dying that PJ they was on the like, shittiest then, team. PJ Washington from the Hornets, and then there was like a little thing said that said that Kyle Kuzma had a chance to come to the Mavs, but then he was like, "No, uh, I want to stay and actually make a like a, a title run." He like, wants to be title yeah. contender. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to go to somewhere where it's t- yeah, where we're title contenders. And I'm like, brother, <laughs> insert clown emoji. And bro. then I think I think Cameron was like, "You got bitches in Washington." You got bitches in D.C. and you're not trying to leave your yep, bitches. Because yep. what are you talking about? You want to stay in D.C.? Chief. Come oh, on. Like, like, I'm, I'm happy Kyle didn't come. He but probably like me and me and Poole just do whatever the fuck we want. No, no, one, no one wants us to no win. Cap. We just out here balling and fucking bitches. I'm like, that okay. light-skinned duo, they probably lit. Like I, I think I don't even know how that would have worked <laughs> in our team. I think it would have maybe probably would have helped Kyle Kuzma's career, but – I also just don't yeah. know how he would have fit into our yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Maybe he could have been like some PJ Washington type. I don't I think don't he know. has that dog. Like, don't. PJ got that 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 dog in yeah, him. That dog. He said, "I'd be selfless." Come on, like, come on, dude. That man. Come nice. on, he's our he's our enforcer. They're saying. Oh yeah. They're saying he's our enforcer. That's what's crazy. Derek Lively might be one of our enforcers too. Gafford might be. Oh yeah, Gafford pretty much for anybody. Sure. They're like dude, protect that's how you know it's seventy-seven. A good ass team. There's some fucking team of dogs. Bro. Protect like, seventy-seven. Look at everybody just ready to fucking. 
And then you look at 77, he ready to beat your ass too. It's like, oh shit. And Kyrie's like, fucking not playing. Hila. It's like, Hila. Hila. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, hey. <laughs> so, wallahi, we win. Wallahi. Inshallah, Inshallah. we win. <laughs> Inshallah, we win. <laughs> no cap. And that is another day in the best way. Come on. Some great sports takes. Live and direct. It's another episode of Listen. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's oh. another episode of Buddy Sports presented by Listen Buddy Podcast with your favorite host. Bam, E Money. With O Dog. Come on. Coming at you live and direct to dissect. Man, we've been calling this shit, gang. We've been calling this shit. We've, we've been, been call- calling this Come shit. On. We've been calling this and shit. And for the little, the little views we that people be watching, yo, you you know, shout out y'all. The little, the little community who knows, they know. They know. They know. Come on. Uh, street interviews on the way for game hey, we one be of the at, finals. Let's go. We gonna be at a. We're gonna be outside. Gonna double be AC. City. Come on. But you know, game one at Boston. But we are gonna be acting like it's game one at fucking Dallas. We are gonna be going crazy. We'll see y'all next time. That's a wonderful day. And that brings us to the end of another episode on the Listen Buddy Podcast. If you enjoyed the conversation as much as we did making it, don't forget to share the love and hit that subscribe button. Reach out on all social platforms at Listen Buddy Podcast and be sure to drop a like and comment below. Stay tuned for more episodes every Friday and as always, listen buddy.